All right, so unusual week. I guess we've got to recap the game because um, it is Monday, even though it doesn't seem like that <coughs> uh, to us because we had to get ahead. Um, <clears throat> so obviously discouraging outcome in the game. Uh, we did not play <coughs> well really at all on defense in any phase. Um, offensively, uh, we had a lot of yards. You know, but didn't finish drives in the red zone and have three turnovers. So, you know, <clears throat> he has no deal in analytics and what happens. And it's just a reminder of stats that are important that you can be plus 200 yards in a game over the opponent, um, you know, but then still uh, lose the game and not really a close game uh, would tell you what's most important, which would be scoring in the red zone, which I think they went 100% touchdowns. We were 2 of 4, 2 of 5, and three turnovers to none. So that would be the formula. And um, we certainly helped them. And their quarterback played well, and they really ran the ball extremely well. So <clears throat> on to the next one. Big challenge ahead, chance to win uh, our third Egg Bowl uh, since we've been here. It's a challenging opponent on a short week. Um, you know, we had the late game on the road and had the 11 a.m. home game, so it is what it is. And we got a lot of work to do between now and then uh, to play a really good offense that's run the ball well at times this year, too, uh, which is unusual, as well as they're, you know, one of the top passing games in the country. And speaking of red zone, I, you know, I think they're second or third in red zone touchdowns in the country. Questions? Lane, this is your third Egg Bowl. I know you've coached in a lot of different rivalry games at different places. What stands out about this rivalry specifically to you? <clears throat> I don't know. Um, I mean, it's, you know, seems like there's not a lot of love in the relationship, I guess. It's a positive way, a nice way of putting it. But, you know, it means a lot to a lot of people. And, um, you know, I've been fortunate to turn it back our direction the last couple of years and trying to keep it that way. Kind of in that same vein, you've talked about it, talked about it some even in Atlanta, just that, how you've been here, you've seen what it means to, to Mississippians, this this game, and the, the being able to go 3-0. and What do you think that means for this program and for you kind of it recruiting in this state moving forward? Um, maybe we'll have enough money to have a facility that doesn't leak water on us if we win the third one. So, <clears throat> I mean, it would be great. I think in general, you know, as you look at – the three years, I think we've come a long ways um, with the program, on-field success of whatever, 18 wins the last two years and chance for a 19. Uh, you know, I think that <clears throat> we've turned over the roster, improved the roster, obviously improved on-field production and uh, made the program a lot more visible, visibly nationally um, to recruit to than where it was when we got here. So. This would be another um, good notch in there to help that with the national audience on a Thursday night. What have you seen out of uh, Will Rogers just another year under Leach in that system? What have you seen kind of on film from him this season? Same thing. I mean, high completion percentage, really good with the ball, hardly ever gets sacked. Um, you know, does a great job. How has your relationship with uh, Mike Leach kind of evolved over the years? And, and for people that don't know him, uh, I mean, how would you best kind of describe him to, to those people? Unusual, different, not a normal coach uh, at all. So I think Mike's great. It's fun to be around. Um, you know, we've had, <clears throat> you know, league meetings before. I mean, head coach meetings are a little different out west. I mean, people get along and hang out at the pool and stuff. So you get to know the people there, um, different than our SEC meetings. But so he he was always funny and fun to be around. And I think he's brilliant. 
um, and obviously very creative. Lane, I've heard you say what your approach is when your name is coming up for other jobs and rumors and whatnot, but do, do your players ask you about it during this time? Uh, they don't. I think they know how we operate, and um, they've been in this before, and so, you know, they, they don't even ask. I think they know how we do things here, and, you know, pro mindset of preparing every day to get better and win, and I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm extremely happy here, like we just talked about, <clears throat> the difference of where this program is now compared to three years ago, and, you know, feel that we have really good support, so. I mean, I can get up here and give you whatever it was, the pine box speech, and uh, I'm not going to be the next head coach of Alabama. I can give you those things, and, you know, so I don't know what those mean. <laughs> so I don't know what else to say. I mean, I've been here three years and been fortunate enough to, have, I guess, now have three different contracts, so I don't know why all of a sudden a fourth contract all of a sudden makes people feel better. So, um, like I said, we're very appreciative of everything here. You sound like your guys are very confident and good at, you know, backing out of that kind of outside noise, and you seem confident in them. Does any, but you not having conversations with them, is there any part of your mind that thinks that that might be concerning because it might turn into a distraction on a rivalry week if they see it all the time? Yeah, I mean, I think about that. I've asked our coaches, do you think that that, is an issue. They've said no. Um, like analytics, we study the past. I mean, we played in the last game at FAU to conference championship, and that morning ESPN leaked that we were the head coach at Ole Miss, and the entire team knew and went out one by 40. So, and these same, you know, questions were there the same week that we were one play away from beating Alabama. So, um, not much analytics to show that that would matter about player performance. Coach Davidson at Igmanosin started the first nine games, it seems like, and, and it seems like Miles Battle's gotten the nod past two. Uh, what, can you talk about that a little bit, and what do you, who do you envision starting on, on Thursday? Um, we envision them both playing. Um, you know, <clears throat> Davidson did some really good things, um, you know, and Miles had worked really hard, so we made a change and, um, you know, anticipate them both playing. Some of the penalties, I know you questioned these guys Saturday night. Do you get a chance to send that in on a Monday or a Sunday and, and get some answers back? And, and if you do, could you share any of those answers with us? Yeah, they come back usually tonight. Um, we actually aren't allowed to share them with you. Um, so I, even if they were back, I, I'm not supposed to share them with you. We are working with Micah, though, on you know, you know his penalty, which is now I got to teach guys not to just kick someone's ass at the end of the play, you know, before the whistle is blowing. So. Like I said, when it happened during the game, I just want some help of, you know, what I'm supposed to coach. So I guess now I know. Do you think the way that Saturday's game went in Fayetteville, do you have confidence that that's going to kind of fuel your guys on a short week heading into Thursday in a, in a rivalry game? Do you think it could have the positive effect like that? Yeah, I think that, you know, um, unfortunately the two times here that we've played Alabama, you know, competitively and well, and um, especially on offense, we've gone and um, had Arkansas the next week and not played really well. So, um, you know, a lot of every week's different as we see all around the country. You can't compare scores. You can't think this team, that team. I mean, you know, Arkansas loses Liberty, then Arkansas, you know, is easily one or two plays away from beating LSU, and then they beat us. So. Uh, you can't, you can't play that game. Is there a balance to strike, tone-wise, in your conversations with the offense after they, you know, rack up 700 yards like you've talked about? But obviously, there's other things that prohibited you from winning, winning the game. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's glaring, you know, and 
it's the stuff we teach, but this would probably be as glaring an example as you can can have about what is the most important. And it's not moving the ball between the end lines. It's finishing drive, and it's not turning the ball over. You go minus three in a, in a game, I think it's 91% you're going to lose before you even get to the rest of the stats, let alone the red zone. So, um, you know, they did a great job, and, and we certainly um, hurt ourselves. Coach Ben Williams is having his uh, jersey retired over the weekend. He was the first uh, African American to play in a varsity football game for Ole Miss. Can you just talk about that and what that ceremony will be like on Saturday or Thursday? Yeah, really neat event, um, you know, to have happening and um, great for our players and fans. So um, should be really special. Coach, a lot of talk about Quinchon. The numbers are phenomenal, but here's Zach, uh, about to be your second 1,000-yard rusher, possibly, and miss some time. Just kind of address his season. Yeah, pretty neat that those guys have played that well. Like you said, with Zach missing time, had he not missed, they'd you know, both be over 1,000 already, um, which is pretty neat, especially in the SEC. I think I saw Today, the two of them, if they were a team, they'd be ranked 14th or something in the country in rushing, just the two of them alone. So uh, they've done a great job. Obviously, that's a product of the other players around them blocking really well and performing well. Um, but they've done a great job, you know, not just for one of them being a true freshman, but both of them being brand new to the program. All right, guys, thanks.